turn around and take a picture of all the planets in the solar system. And I, I thought that this would be a, a riveting collection of images, you know, a first. Out in the vastness of space, there's a silent traveler known as NASA's Voyager 1. The Voyager 1 space probe is the furthest man-made object from Earth and the fastest. But right now, it is moving towards us. It's been journeying through space for an incredible 45 years, continuously sending us important data from far off corners of our solar system. But now, something really strange is going on. Voyager 1, which is now an astonishing 24 billion kilometers away from Earth, has started sending back alarming information that has left scientists scratching their heads in confusion. Could Voyager 1 be encountering something entirely unexpected in its journey through space? Join us as we uncover the mystery behind the unusual signals Voyager 1 has been sending that has left scientists confused. Number 1. The Epic Journey of the Voyager Mission The Voyager mission, which began its journey in the summer of 1977, was originally planned to last for only five years. However, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 surprised everyone by surpassing these expectations. Instead of shutting down, they continued their mission for over 45 years, consistently sending back crucial scientific data from the outer edges of our solar system. Initially, these two spacecraft were sent on a mission to explore Jupiter and Saturn, which they accomplished successfully. But Voyager 1 didn't stop there. It embarked on an extraordinary journey, becoming the first spacecraft to conduct close observations of Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. This phase of exploration was known as the Voyager Grand Tour. In August 2012, Voyager 1 spacecraft accomplished something extraordinary. It entered a region of space beyond our solar system called interstellar space. This remarkable feat occurred just 35 years after Voyager 1 began its journey from Earth. It gets to about 10 billion miles away from the Earth. And all of a sudden, it's sending down data. But the spacecraft had even more incredible accomplishments ahead of it as it continued its exploration beyond the boundaries of our solar system. But it wasn't until 2013 that scientists finally discovered something remarkable. They carefully looked through all the information Voyager 1 sent back. Then, NASA made it official. Voyager 1 had gone farther than anyone imagined, leaving the sun's area of control and entering interstellar space. There, it met a constant flow of particles and magnetic fields, something entirely new for the spacecraft. Voyager was going to be in a, a location that no other spacecraft had been before, equipped with... Meanwhile, Voyager 1 is now the farthest thing made by humans from our planet, cruising even farther out at an astonishing 24 billion kilometers away. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory keeps track of these incredible journeys. Voyager 1 is speeding away from us at a breathtaking pace, zooming through space at about 38,000 miles per hour, which is roughly 17 kilometers every single second. The Voyager missions have been incredibly special because they've given us unique information about our solar system and what's around it. These probes have been really busy, studying how things like the space between stars called the interstellar medium interact with the constant flow of charged particles from the sun known as the solar wind. Voyager data has also helped us understand something called the heliosphere, which is like a protective bubble made of charged particles around our solar system. This bubble is shaped by the space around it. Overall, the Voyager missions have done a lot to expand our knowledge and get us excited about space. They've left a lasting mark on space exploration, making them something we'll remember for a long time. In the meantime, experts guess that we might meet beings from other planets for the first time in 2029. They think that if there are creatures out there, they might have gotten our messages from Voyager 1 as far back as 2002. There's much curiosity about what might happen if Voyager 1 encounters life beyond Earth. This scenario sparks imaginations. Wow, I'm going to respond. But they don't speak English, 
So their message is a computer message. Is that first contact? Inviting us to ponder the potential outcomes of such an extraordinary event. Number two, the indestructible space pioneer Voyager. One is traveling through the toughest environment you can imagine. In space, there's wild radiation, freezing cold, scorching heat, and even tiny rocks zooming around. Most things wouldn't survive out there. But Voyager 1? It's been going strong for an incredible 46 years and 5 days. That's like a super tough superhero enduring all sorts of challenges in space and still going strong. One of the main reasons why this spacecraft has lasted so long is because it was made really strong. Smart engineers and officials who designed it made sure it could withstand all sorts of tough stuff like cosmic radiation, extreme hot and cold temperatures, and even those pesky space rocks. Another reason it's still going strong is because it has a special kind of power source called a nuclear battery, also known as radioisotope thermoelectric generators. These batteries keep it running smoothly even in the depths of space. This spaceship is equipped with all sorts of instruments. There's one for studying cosmic rays, another for taking high-quality pictures, and even one for measuring temperatures. These instruments aren't just for show, they've done some serious work. Voyager 1 has used them to uncover secrets about big planets and their moons. But Voyager 1's instruments aren't just about snapping cool pictures. They're also like cosmic detectives, studying things like cosmic rays, charged particles, magnetic fields, and plasma waves. As Voyager 1 traveled through space, it also carried a special message from Earth meant for any unknown creatures it might meet. This message, called the Golden Record, shows humanity's attempt to talk to possible aliens. Number 3. Voyager 1 and Capturing Cosmic Wonders As Voyager 1 journeyed through the vastness of space, it carried an extraordinary message from Earth intended for any unknown entities it might encounter. This unique message, referred to as the Golden Record, represents humanity's effort to communicate with potential extraterrestrial life forms. The Golden Record itself is a remarkable object, a disc made of copper, coated in gold, and measuring about 12 inches in diameter. It contains carefully curated sounds and images that showcase the diversity of life and cultures on our planet. Beyond its physical attributes, the Golden Record serves as a window into the world of Earth. It narrates the story of humanity and our planet, serving as a symbolic attempt to connect with civilizations that may exist across the vast distances of space. Therefore, as Voyager 1 continues its cosmic odyssey, it not only carries scientific instruments, but also acts as a messenger. This is the control room for NASA's Deep Space Network, and the scientists here still listen for the signals that Voyager is sending carrying the essence of humanity's existence to the farthest reaches of the cosmos. This spacecraft is carrying a message from Earth that might be discovered by aliens in the distant future. If, by some remarkable chance, an advanced alien civilization were to encounter Voyager 1 and recover the golden record it contains, it would mark a significant event in the history of communication between stars. The Voyager Heinz Golden Record holds a mysterious fate, presenting three intriguing scenarios. Firstly, should beings from other planets stumble upon it, they might utilize their advanced technology to decipher the images and sounds embedded within. Secondly, if these beings possess the capability to traverse the vast expanse between stars or communicate across immense distances, Scientists speculate that a response could reach us by 2029, potentially opening a new channel of interstellar communication. However, a third possibility exists, wherein these enigmatic beings opt to regard Voyager 1 as a relic of the past, refraining from any interaction to allow burgeoning civilizations to evolve without interference. The implications of such an encounter between humanity and intelligence from beyond our world are profound, hinting at a transformative shift that could reshape the fabric of our world.
Voyager 1's recent transmissions from the distant realms of interstellar space continue to captivate scientists, fueling curiosity about the vast unknown beyond our solar system. As Voyager 1 traversed the depths of space, carrying with it the captivating golden record, a testament to humanity's curiosity and desire for connection with potential extraterrestrial beings, its own journey became an enigma. Recently, scientists have been captivated by unexpected transmissions from the far reaches of interstellar space. These perplexing signals, stemming from Voyager 1's onboard systems, have left NASA engineers puzzled. Forty years ago today, NASA launched the Voyager 2 on a tour of the stars. Weeks later, the Voyager 1 followed, adding an intriguing new dimension to the mission. In the midst of exploring the cosmos and communicating our existence to the unknown, Voyager 1 itself has become a source of mystery, sparking a renewed quest for understanding among researchers. But this cosmic traveler was far from being done with its assignment. Number 4. Voyager 1-1's Unusual Signals Sent to Earth Despite its lengthy and dependable service, Voyager 1 has recently intrigued scientists with transmissions from the outer reaches of interstellar space. This unexpected data has puzzled engineers at NASA, particularly as it comes from a critical onboard system called the Attitude Articulation and Control System. This anomaly adds a new layer of mystery to Voyager 1's mission as researchers work to understand its significance and possible implications. The spacecraft's enduring operation and the puzzled information it continues to send emphasize the challenges of exploring space and the ongoing effort to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos. The system responsible for figuring the location of the spacecraft attitude and articulation control system which is telling us about it, and fixing its position so it can talk to Earth and send data have a problem. The attitude and articulation control system sometimes gives us wrong information. I'm about to hear a discussion of a first in the history of exploration. The most distant human-made object, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, is in interstellar space. It says the spacecraft is moving in a different way than it actually is. It's like Voyager 1, the spacecraft, is confused and doesn't know where it is in space anymore. This is strange because it's floating around in the huge emptiness of space. It makes us wonder if we can trust the systems that help the spacecraft know where it's going. NASA's understanding of what's happening is both comforting and confusing, according to NASA. Even though Voyager 1 gets wrong information from its control system, it keeps working normally. It listens to orders from Earth and gathers important data from far away. The spacecraft doesn't seem bothered by the problem, and its safety systems haven't kicked in. These systems are supposed to protect the craft if something goes wrong. It's interesting because it shows that Voyager 1 is still doing its job well, even though there are problems. It's facing that we don't fully understand yet. And then, set light to them, you get that. Interestingly, Voyager 1's signal stays strong in space like a guiding light. Its big antenna keeps pointing at Earth without moving. But there's a strange thing happening with the data it sends back from the system that helps control its direction. Sometimes the information it sends seems messy, like it doesn't make sense. This makes scientists curious about how Voyager 1 communicates. Suzanne Dodd, who manages both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 missions, explains the confusing situation. She reminds us that it's not strange to encounter mysteries at this late stage of the Voyager mission. These spacecraft have been flying longer and farther than originally planned. Now, they're traveling in space between stars, facing strong radiation, and going where no spacecraft has gone before. The stuff of dreams only a generation ago began snapping into the sharp focus of reality today. After its billion-mile journey from Earth, the Voyager 1 spacecraft sent back pictures of man's closest look yet. Although the engineering team faces a tough challenge, they're hopeful about fixing Voyager 1's problem with its navigation system. If they can find what's causing the issue, they might be able to solve it by changing the spacecraft's computer programs or using backup hardware. 
To ensure the continuation of the mission, NASA's skilled engineers have pinpointed an issue with the spacecraft's Attitude and Articulation Control System, AACS. It appears that the AACS was transmitting telemetry data to a malfunctioning computer that had ceased functioning long ago, resulting in data corruption. Suspecting this as the root cause, the project manager took a daring step by repeatedly instructing the axe to transmit data to the correct computer. However, the engineers remain uncertain about why the AACS deviated from its intended course. They speculate that a malfunctioning command from another onboard computer might have triggered this anomaly. If proven true, it implies the existence of an underlying problem within the spacecraft. This revelation underscores the complexities involved in space exploration and highlights the ingenuity and calculated risks undertaken by NASA's team to address unforeseen obstacles and keep the mission on track. Voyager 1 remains connected to us through a carefully planned radio communication system. Voyager's radio signal. At, uh, Voyager was 11.5 billion miles away last February, and the VLBA went out there and looked for the signal. If you can bring up the next... This system is meticulously crafted to operate effectively both within and outside our solar system. At its core is a substantial 3-7 meter diameter high-gain crane antenna. This powerful antenna is essential for sending and receiving radio waves. It works in tandem with three Earth-based stations forming the deep space network. When trying to communicate with objects really far away, like in deep space, the biggest problem is making sure our equipment can pick up very weak signals. But Voyager 1 was fitted with some of the most advanced communication technology at the time. Number 5. Voyager 1's Innovative Communication Network When Voyager 1 communicates with Earth, it primarily uses Deep Space Network Channel 18, utilizing radio frequencies of either 2.3 GHz or 8.4 GHz. Conversely, when we transmit signals to Voyager, we use a frequency of 2.1 GRDs. This sophisticated setup enables Voyager 1 to maintain a connection with our home planet, even as it ventures into the vast unknown of space. Space history. Voyager 1 is now a starship. The space probe launched from Central Florida 36 years ago has made it beyond the solar system, the first human-made object to do The communication system of Voyager 1 is akin to a lifeline extending from our home planet into the depths of space. This system, meticulously engineered by scientists and engineers, is essential for the spacecraft to relay information back to Earth and receive commands for its continued operation. Central to this communication setup is the high-gain crane antenna, a colossal structure measuring 7 meters in diameter. This antenna serves as the primary means for Voyager 1 to transmit and receive radio signals. Through careful calibration and alignment, it can capture faint signals from the spacecraft, even as it ventures far beyond the reaches of our solar system. To facilitate this communication, the Deep Space Network comes into play. Consisting of three strategically positioned stations on Earth, this network forms a crucial link between Voyager 1 and Mission Control. These stations work tirelessly to track the spacecraft's movements, ensuring a constant flow of data between Voyager 1 and Earth. The frequencies used for communication are carefully chosen to optimize transmission efficiency. When Voyager 1 communicates with Earth, it employs frequencies of either 2.3 GHz or 8.4 GHz, depending on the specific requirements of the mission. Conversely, signals sent from Earth to Voyager 1 utilize a frequency of 2.1 GHz. This meticulous coordination ensures that communication remains reliable, even over vast distances. Despite the challenges posed by the vastness of space, Voyager 1's communication system stands as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. It allows us to stay connected with this pioneering spacecraft as it continues its historic journey into the unknown realms of the cosmos. As Voyager 1 continues its journey through space, maintaining direct communication with Earth has become increasingly difficult due to the vast distance it has traveled. 
To tackle this challenge, the spacecraft is equipped with a digital tape recorder DTR, capable of storing approximately 67 megabytes of data. This recorder allows Voyager 1 to store valuable data on board, which can be transmitted back to Earth at a later time when communication conditions are more favorable. By 2023, the distance Voyager 1 has covered means that signals take over 22 hours to reach Earth. For months, scientists have been awaiting the pictures from the Voyager spacecraft as it raced by the planet Neptune 2.8 billion miles away, right at the edge of our solar system. A significant increase compared to the mere 15 minutes it takes for data from the Mars rovers to reach us. This vast difference highlights the immense distance Voyager 1 has ventured from our planet. Additionally, Voyager 1's signal weakens as it travels through space, posing another obstacle to communication. NASA uses something called the Deep Space Network, DSN. The DSN has three groups of antennas placed strategically around Earth. Each group has a big 70-meter antenna and many smaller 34-meter antennas. These antennas work together to catch signals that are much weaker than normal FM radio signals, sometimes even thousands of times weaker. The DSN helps us stay in touch with spacecraft exploring distant parts of space. It's like a special telephone line between Earth and these spacecraft. This system lets scientists and engineers send instructions to the spacecraft and get data back from them, even when they're really, really far away. It's a crucial tool for exploring and learning about space. The system sets aside lots of time every day to watch for weak signals from Voyager 1. Over the last 50 years, it's always been quick to respond. This remarkable capability hinges on the existence of sensitive and precise receivers that can capture extremely faint signals reliably. These signals, which carry valuable information from distant celestial bodies, are so weak that they require advanced technology to detect and interpret. Through these tools, we are able to establish a reliable means of communication with far-off entities in space, enabling us to learn more about the universe and expand our understanding of distant worlds. This breakthrough opens up new possibilities for exploration and discovery, as it allows us to bridge vast cosmic distances and connect with objects that were once beyond our reach. Such advancements in space communication technology represent a significant milestone in our quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos and push the boundaries of human knowledge. Voyager 1 operates with a limited amount of energy which restricts its ability to gather scientific information. One of its essential tools, the Cosmic Ray subsystem, is dedicated to analyzing particles emitted by celestial bodies such as stars. This instrument plays a crucial role in offering us valuable knowledge about the universe. By measuring these particles, we gain profound insights into the nature and behavior of distant cosmic phenomena. Despite the constraints posed by its finite energy supply, Voyager 1 continues its mission to unravel the mysteries of outer space, contributing to our understanding of the vast and intricate cosmos. Through the data collected by instruments like the Cosmic Ray Subsystem, scientists can further explore the origins, compositions, and dynamics of celestial objects, enriching our comprehension of the universe's complexities. But what truly lies out there deep into the reaches of outer space? Number 6. Discoveries Beyond the Pale Blue Dot Back in 1990, scientists had to make a big decision they turned off the camera on Voyager 1 to save power. This was right after they took that famous picture of Earth called the Pale Blue Dot. Out of all the cool tools Voyager 1 had, only five still work today. Turning off the camera was a smart move. It helped Voyager 1 keep going on its journey through space, sending back important information to Earth. Even though the camera is off, the other working tools still tell us a lot about space, that picture of Earth, the pale blue dot, reminds us how tiny our planet is in the huge space around us. Voyager 1 keeps going, even with fewer tools showing how much we want to learn about space. Recently, NASA started saving more energy to keep Voyager 1 going beyond 2025. 
They're delaying turning off one of the tools until 2026 instead of doing it earlier. But some tools might stop working by 2025 or 2026. The mission will likely end around the mid-2030s. This shows that NASA really wants to get as much information as possible from Voyager 1 before it's over. As Voyager 1 nears its end, it makes us think about how humans explore and learn about space. Engineers faced challenging decisions to maintain the functionality of these instruments. They had to disable heaters and other components to ensure that these active instruments remain operational. Despite these adjustments, these instruments remain vital in providing crucial information about our surroundings in space. They act as our eyes and ears, allowing us to observe the depths of space. By gathering essential data, they provide insights into magnetic fields, solar winds, and cosmic rays beyond our solar system. These data are invaluable for understanding the dynamics of space and its effects on our environment. Despite the sacrifices made to keep them running, these instruments play a critical role in advancing our knowledge of the universe. In 2022, NASA started doing things to save energy so they could keep their mission going beyond 2025. But in 2023, they said they're doing even more to save energy, which means they're delaying turning off one of their science tools until 2026 instead of earlier. Even with these efforts, it's likely that more of their tools will stop working by 2025 or 2026. Some might keep going until the end of the 2020s, but the end of the mission is coming closer. Around the mid-2030s, we're probably going to get the last message from Voyager 1. These actions show that NASA is trying hard to make their mission last as long as possible and get as much useful information from it as they can. As Voyager 1's journey comes to an end, it reminds us of how humans explore and learn about space. The transmission and reception of signals will be facilitated through the Deep Space Network, which comprises a network of radio antenna dishes strategically positioned across Earth's surface. Among these antennas is the monumental 230-ton dish located in Kanura, Australia. Despite their impressive size and capability, even these mighty antennas have their constraints. The Deep Space Network plays a crucial role in enabling communication with spacecraft exploring the depths of our solar system and beyond. These radio antennas serve as the essential link between Earth and distant spacecraft, allowing scientists and engineers to exchange data, commands, and information over vast cosmic distances. The colossal size of the 230-ton dish in Kanura, Australia, reflects the monumental effort and precision required in space communication. Its presence signifies humanity's determination to explore and understand the mysteries of the universe. However, despite their immense power and technological sophistication, the antennas of the Deep Space Network are not without limitations. Factors such as atmospheric interference, signal degradation over long distances, and the vastness of space itself pose challenges to seamless communication. Therefore, while the Deep Space Network represents a remarkable feat of engineering, it also underscores the ongoing quest to push the boundaries of our understanding and capabilities in space exploration. According to the space people at NASA, they think the two Voyager spaceships will keep talking to the Big Space Network until about 2036. This depends on how much energy the spaceships still have to send messages back to Earth. So they guess that we'll have our last chat with Voyager 1 sometime during this time, which means the end of a big space adventure. These Voyager missions started in the late 1970s and have taught us a lot about the outer part of our solar system. Voyager 1 is the farthest thing we've ever made that's still flying away from Earth. It's told us tons about planets, their moons, and even the space between stars. Even though we won't be able to talk to Voyager 1 anymore, the domain of exploring outer space, recent updates from NASA indicate situations involving Voyager 2, a spacecraft launched to hold the position as the second farthest object from Earth. Number 7. 
Voyager 2's journey and danger of communication. Voyager 2, equally launched in 1977, has been pivotal in gathering essential data about the outer planets of our solar system and beyond. However, this recent incident highlights the susceptibility of such missions, even after decades of operational success. The antenna's shift could disrupt communication between Voyager 2 and Earth, potentially impeding the transmission of crucial information gathered during its extensive journey. Engineers at NASA are undoubtedly working diligently to address this setback and restore the spacecraft's functionality. Nevertheless, this event underscores the unpredictable nature of exploring outer space and the constant vigilance necessary to ensure mission success. It serves as a reminder of the challenges inherent in venturing into the vast expanse of space where even seemingly minor anomalies can have significant consequences. Voyager 2, the intrepid space explorer, has encountered a setback in its journey through the cosmos. It can no longer relay crucial information to Earth, despite the valiant efforts of the powerful antennas of the deep space network. This stalwart traveler now finds itself at an astonishing distance of 19.9 billion kilometers from our planet. However, amidst these formidable challenges, there remains a flicker of optimism. NASA, the space agency overseeing Voyager 2's mission, holds on to the belief that this communication obstacle might only be a temporary hiccup. Despite the vast expanse that separates Voyager 2 from its creators, the resilience of both the spacecraft and the dedicated teams at NASA shines through. While the loss of communication is undoubtedly a setback, it is seen as a surmountable obstacle rather than an insurmountable barrier. Through innovative problem-solving and perseverance, there is hope that Voyager 2 will once again establish contact with Earth, allowing it to resume its mission of exploration and discovery in the depths of space. Voyager 2 undergoes regular resets multiple times each year to adjust its antenna alignment with Earth. These scheduled resets play a crucial role in potentially reconnecting with the distant spacecraft. The next reset is scheduled for October 15th, marking a moment filled with anticipation and optimism for the NASA team. They eagerly await the possibility of re-establishing communication with Voyager 2 during this reset. This process highlights the importance of meticulous planning and patience in space exploration, where even routine tasks hold the promise of significant breakthroughs. The anticipation reflects the deep connection and investment scientists have in the Voyager mission, which has provided invaluable insights into the outer reaches of our solar system. Each reset serves as a beacon of hope, symbolizing humanity's ongoing quest to understand the universe and our place within it. Will Voyager 1 be able to live its full life until 2025? Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more celestial videos.